Hey, welcome to the video. I uh, just want to tell you where I'm at today. Is uh, It's a property that I've metal detected quite a bit. I have permission to enter the property that borders it, which is, is great news because this is the site of a big Civil War battle. Uh, not just a battle, but some pretty significant things happened here. Um, so I'm really excited. I'm gonna get into the thick woods here and let's see what we can find. Like barely nothing, nothing on the screen, but I got, where was that? It gave me something, I'm gonna turn up my sensitivity. Right there. And it's not iron. It gave me like a 51, something like that. That's, that's, yeah, 50, that's a good lead. A lead number 38, 42, kind of different. Oh, nice, there's ants here. Like big ants. Holy crap, there's a lot of ants. Son of a gun, it's right in there. You've got to be kidding me. It's right in there. The ants are pouring out of it. That's a good target too. I mean, it, it could be a bullet. That's a lead signature. For sure, it could be a button. It could be a buckle. Stupid ants. They're not fire ants. They're, they're those big red ants. All right, I'm gonna try something. I'm, I'm not giving up on this. Yeah, they're... They're in there. I, oh, shoot. Man, it's right down in there. I want that. Man, it is just straight in the middle of that thing. All right, how am I gonna do this? And you can't just dig, because there's so many roots right here. so far. Holy crap. Bullet. <clears throat> what do we got? I see rings. I think. It definitely looks small. I'll clean it up. Could be a uh, pistol bullet, which would be neat. But anyhow, I'm glad I got it. And uh, I'm going to keep swinging. Okay, so I'm getting a signal. Shows iron. I'll take it. I'm out here deep in the woods. There's no targets as far, I mean, there's no trash. So it's not like you're having to sift through garbage. But I got a signal, it's deep, it's barely coming through, but it feels like it's underneath this root. I don't know if that's a root, or that's, that's not a root, that's going to be a fallen tree from long ago. Here, it's coming up, this might be something, I think it is. Yeah, because you don't know if it's a root, but here we go. Holy crap, guys. Let me see if there's anything else. So what is this? My first impression, obviously, it's round. It's metal. My first thought is that it's a piece of case shot. I've also, I also had a piece like this where I thought it was case shot, it was round, but it, it actually ended up being wood encasing a Williams cleaner bullet, which is super cool. So to be honest with you, I can't tell if it's wood 
with a bullet inside or if this is a piece of case shot. I'm leaning towards case shot. I found one out here. It was, uh, it was, it was steel, uh, like a one inch, uh, steel ball, uh, from a artillery show. Well, shoot. I don't know how excited to get. I don't know what the heck it is for sure. Hey guys, so yeah, that's what this is. I suspected it was a piece of case shot, but I wanted to get home and make sure. Um, when I got home, I was able to, uh, without putting it in, in electrolysis or anything, I was just able to, to tap it and, and the, uh, the rust fell off. Sure enough, it's a piece of one inch steel case shot. Now this was from an artillery shell or a cannonball. Um, what I'm finding a lot is either the case shot is gonna be lead balls, um, or steel case shot. Actually, in this uh, general area right here, I have found other steel case shot. Just like a ball bearing, man. I just can't can't imagine that stuff just flying through the air when these explosions went off. But it's a really cool find, and uh, I'm glad I found it. All right, let's see what it is now. Just putting the shovel in there, I could, I could feel. It feels like I'm going into, like an old rotted tree. That's what it. It's kind of the feeling I got. Just trying to go wide, really wide of the target, and just kind of loosen the, loosen the dirt. Yeah, I think I just flipped it out, whatever it is, in my hand. Okay. Bullet. There we go. Isn't that weird? I think it's got a hole on the side of it. I'll have to investigate that more. See what the heck that is, because if that's a hole in the side of it, that's this would more than likely be considered a carved bullet. Because that hole didn't get there on its own by being dropped in the ground. But you know, who knows? I still got I'll clean it up. We'll figure it out. Hey, check out this bullet. Uh, when I cleaned it up a bit, you can see that there's like a hole in the side of it. Um, this isn't what happened, but it, it's almost as if you put that bullet up and you shot it with a pellet rifle. It's almost got that kind of hole or about that size, I should say, um, in the side of it. Um, it, it looks, I, I can't imagine a way that this bullet would have impacted anything to where this this would have happened from it being fired. It, it looks dropped, um, and I want to say I would consider this a carved bullet. Um, it's not carved into some chess piece or, or anything like that, but I consider a carved bullet being any kind of bullet that a soldier, you know, was whittling on, carving on, tweaking on in any way. To me, I consider that a carved bullet, and I think that's what this is. I think uh, maybe with a knife sitting back at camp, a soldier would have just kind of been drilling into the side of this. Pretty cool find. Um, it was all covered in mud in the beginning, but really you never know what you're going to find out there. And I love finding pieces that um, are like personal items to the soldiers. They're, they're just fascinating to me. Okay, weird signal right here. It's iron. Right, I'm getting iron. But I'm also getting... That screen is showing me it's trying to pull it into the good area from the iron area, but anyhow. Yeah, there's more than one target in there. This is gonna be muddy too. But yeah, there's there's something down in there. And I'm curious. Yeah, it's yeah, see that? It's gonna be once you get to about four to six inches, it's just gonna be water. Stupid vines going everywhere. 
There we go. Got something over here. There, I got something. What are you? Interesting. I'm going to have to clean this up. It's got some kind of shape to it. It's almost like it was a pocket knife or something. That sure would be cool, right? Yeah, see, something's showing through. I don't know. We'll see. We'll clean it up at home. Hey guys, so check this out. This is a pocket knife. It's, it's what I just kind of had an idea of when I saw the shape when I dug it, although it was all encrusted with, with uh, rust, it just had that shape. So I went home, I knocked off a bunch of the rust and clearly it's a pocket knife. Um, right where we're at is just, this is like thick Civil War fighting. Um, so this is just awesome. A lot of times with, uh, with pocket knives in the Civil War, what you find are pieces. Um, a, a real popular piece to find is called a bolster. It's at the end, it's the, I'll put a picture up, but it's the end of the pocket knife. For whatever reason, that's something that's commonly found, uh, remnants of the pocket knife. But yeah, knives were real popular with the soldiers. Um, aside from the daggers and the, you know, the, the Bowie knives, the, the pocket knives, there could just be a variety of them. I did a little research on this, and there are a lot of brands, a lot of major brands from today that date back uh, before the Civil War. Um, so you just do get a variety of different brands, types, but I'm excited. This is actually the first full pocket knife like this that I found. Um, it, it's not something that I can put into electrolysis to, to clean it up because as you can see in the pictures, it's, it's real fragile. Um, and if I do anything more to it at this point, it's just gonna disintegrate. So I don't wanna mess with it. It looks good, it's gonna display really good, and I'm real happy that I found it. 